Hey friends, Matt aka Martillon here, and today I want to share with you what I think is probably the most underrated reverb feature in pretty much any reverb plugin and show you some really cool ways that you can use it to create some interesting sounds and effects. Before we get started, if you like the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and if you really enjoy my content, why not consider buying me a coffee? You can find a link down below where you can do that in the description. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's take a look at this feature and it is the freeze function. Now, if you don't know what the freeze feature or function of a reverb does, basically it captures the sound of the reverb so that it holds it out effectively indefinitely. And you can use it to create some really cool sounds. So as an example here, I've got a dry vocal that sounds like this. Time will only tell. And what I'm gonna do is add Ableton Live's stock reverb. So now we get a sound that sounds like this. Time will only tell. Nothing too amazing, it's just a reverb, but take a listen to what happens when I click on this freeze button whilst the audio is playing. Time will only tell. The sound effectively holds out indefinitely. Okay, so let's look at one way we can use this to create really cool atmospheric textures. So what I'm gonna do is add a new audio track and on this audio track, I'm gonna set the input of this audio track to be the vocals from track one. Then I'm gonna engage the record arm on that audio track, go back to my vocal track, and now I'm gonna hit record and engage the freeze function on the reverb, at kind of like the end of the vocal. And then what's gonna happen is audio track two is gonna record the frozen reverb and I can leave it recording for as long as I like. Time will only tell. And so now if I just go and trim this newly recorded audio clip on audio track two, pull it back to the start and solo it, we have a really cool ambient vocal texture. You can loop this out indefinitely and use it to create a cool like bed to put underneath your music or a track. Ableton Live's reverb also comes with two additional features that work in tandem with the freeze function. And these are the flat and cut controls. Now the flat feature, I often leave this on and we're gonna ignore this for the moment, but the cut control is really cool because basically what it does is keeps feeding the reverb even if the freeze feature is on. So you can use this to create cascading frozen reverb for a really long amount of time. As an example, let me go back to this vocal here and extend the phrase so we have the full eight or so bars. Now what I'm gonna do is turn off cut and you'll hear now that when I engage the freeze function, this reverb is gonna to continue to be fed by the vocals and we're gonna get an ever increasing textural reverb. And again, you could record this out, resample this into another audio track and effectively create this chordal atmospheric texture now rather than just being a single note like it was before. As a note, you can also affect the sound of this frozen reverb by adjusting the input filter on the reverb. Or of course, you could put any amounts of processing you want after the frozen reverb. You could even do some parallel processing with it instead to really shape the sound of that frozen reverb. Another cool way to use this feature is to automate it on and off to have it swell in to fill in gaps. So let's go back to this lead vocal right here. And what I'm actually gonna do is automate three different parameters. I'm gonna automate the reverb to turn on and off. I'm gonna automate the dry wet to fade in. And I'm then also gonna automate the freeze to turn on and off. So what I want to happen in between the end of this first phrase and the start of this second phrase, I want this frozen reverb to swell in. Now I'm gonna right click on the reverb device activator and show automation for that. Turn off the device and now I'm gonna make it turn on during this last word right here and turn off at the start of this second phrase. I'm gonna do the same thing with the freeze control, right click, show automation, and then I'm gonna freeze it just after the reverb device kicks on, again, all the way until the start of the second phrase. And then I'm gonna right click and automate the dry wet to fade in all the way from zero up to 100% at the start of the second phrase. And so now take a listen to what happens to this vocal. Time will only tell. If you'll be on my side. So you'll hear during that gap, we have this frozen vocal fill out the space before we cut it right back at the start of the second phrase. Of course, you're also not limited to doing this just with vocals and it works really well on synths and other effects parts as well. As an example, here I've got this synth sound that sounds like this.
And what I want to do is the same thing and have a reverb swelling up in the gaps in between these different phrases right here. And so I've actually gone ahead and done that and I've added a reverb at the end here. And if I re-engage the automation and show my automation, you'll see I've done exactly the same thing as we did before, turning the reverb device on, freezing the reverb and automating the dry wet from 0% to 100% in between those gaps. And this is a really cool way to fill up space in a track whilst using effectively already the same sounds that you've got in the mix. And so that is the freeze function, which I think is the most underrated feature inside of any reverb device. And you'll be able to see it in a bunch of other reverb devices as well. You'll also find it in a lot of third party devices as well as Ableton Live's hybrid reverb device in the algorithmic section. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you've used the freeze function in a reverb before and any other cool ways that you've used it. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Feel free to buy me a coffee if you really enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next video.